Welcome back, Northridge High School. Four Morgan girls basketball. Mustangs lead 26-15 here as we head towards the start of the second half. Usually a quick conversation with the coach, Braden, means things are going well and they don't have to change much, but what did Coach Krakenmeyer have to say? That's exactly what he said. He wants to keep keep doing the same thing except keep Kalen Smith off of the free throw line. Not much different than the, the keys to success here as we discussed in the uh, pregame. Mustangs doing a great job to execute, putting a lot of pressure on these Grizzlies who are unable to handle that as, again, they've committed 12 turnovers first half. Ball bounces a lot, around a lot with the possession arrow first uh, half as well, but the Grizzlies will get the ball here to start second half. Ball is quickly inbounded as we're underway. That right side up top for the Grizzlies, well defended by Lapp. Lapp, Bill, Schneider, 22, Peter Span, and number 12, Sammy Pettyjohn, come out of the tunnel here for the Mustangs to start second half. We've got a foul down low on number 22, Brooke Wiederspan, and she was a little over-aggressive there. That's number 15 for the Grizzlies. Amanda Carey went up for the shot, and that'll send her to the line to shoot two. Wiederspan's third foul. Expect to see your sub for her. First free throw sub, no good. 26-15, Mustangs lead. Just underway here, third quarter. Second shot up. From the free throw line is good by number 15, Amanda Carey. One for two there. Mustangs lead by 10. Quick to get across half court. Three point shot is up by Bills. Mustangs unable to establish position on the boards and rebound the basketball. Quickly given to Kaylin Smith of the Grizzlies as she drives the lane and has the ball taken away by Snyder. Snyder, nobody to beat other than herself, but uh, does well to lay the ball up and in for the two-point basket off that turnover. Pressure again by the Mustangs. Grizzly can't handle it. Lap steals the ball and goes up for the layup where she's fouled. Basket's no good, but she will go to the line to shoot two. As the Mustangs continue the trend of the first half, putting pressure on these Grizzlies, and the Grizzlies here early show they're unable to handle that pressure. First free throw by lap, no good. Equitable Savings and Loan, Northeastern Colorado's hometown savings and loan in Fort Morgan and Brush. Second free throw by lap is good. Mustangs put the pressure on after the free throw. Grizzlies do a better job of handling that. Lap one for two from the line as she extends the Mustangs lead 29-16. Mustangs lead, just under seven minutes to go here. Third quarter, Snyder, great defense up top on number 15. Set right side in low to the block where number 22, Weeders fan goes up. Looks like she got the ball, but unfortunately that's actually going to be her fourth foul and she's going to have to take a seat before she fouls out of this game here real early on, third quarter. The important thing with this foul is it's not Kalen Smith. Yes, so she's yeah, sending uh, number five, Lexi Girk, to the line. Her first shot attempt uh, from the free throw line is no good. Lap, Petty John, Bills, Winsheimer, and Schneider on the floor for the Mustangs. As when as Wiedersand heads to the bench with four fouls. Good. Mustangs have the basketball. Counter a little bit of full court pressure here from the Grizzlies. Lap quick the inbounds the ball to Petty John. Petty John hands the ball off to Schneider. Schneider looks to break across half court and does. Grizzlies good defense as Schneider sends the ball to Lap. Lap's jump shot from ten foot baseline is no good. Rebounded by the Grizzlies, Kaylin Smith, as she hits quickly down the floor. Well defended, though, by Petty John, forces her to give the ball up right side baseline. Ball's brought back up top as they look for Smith. Smith's not open. Again, well defended by Petty John. So they send the ball left side. Now up to Smith. Smith looks to drive, where again she runs into three Mustang defenders, but uh, this time they're going to say a trip. 
And give the foul to the Mustangs, number 12, Sammy Petty, John, her third. Not in the act of shooting, Mustangs have to eliminate themselves getting into foul trouble. We've got a toddler on the court, which will halt play temporarily. Ball down low for the Grizzlies under their basket, sent up top quickly. Then baseline, baseline drive where she runs into a, a lap. Lap hits the deck, no foul calls. Schneider recovers the ball, bounces around as Schneider can't hold on to it. They're going to say she fouled the Grizzly Smith. As Schneider looks to recover the basketball, they're saying she fouled Grizzlies' Kaylin Smith. That'll be Schneider's second foul. A little bit of a quick whistle. Grizzlies have the ball up top of the key. Schneider gives a little bit of room. Ball sent right side. Now low to Smith. Smith tries to lay it up. Rebounded by... Petty John. Petty John gives the ball to Schneider. Schneider slowly brings it across half court in front of the Mustangs bench. Dribbles to the center. Sends it left side to Bills. Bills up top to Lap. Lap far right side to Winchimer. Winchimer looks in low to Petty John. Petty John. They're going to have a whistle and call jump ball. Possession arrow has the Mustangs retaining possession. Got a quick whistle on the floor here tonight. Again, I'm not sure if possession or anybody had a hand on the ball for that matter, Braden, but again, the whistle's flown. We're going to have a foul on number 41 of the Grizzlies. Ball will stay with the Mustangs. Schneider below the basket has the basketball. Mustangs come free off the screen. Ball's inbound to the lap. Lap quickly back to Schneider. Schneider shot from the baseline. Too long. Rebounded by the Grizzlies to quickly push the floor. Number 15 runs to line seven, lays it up and in. 29-19, Mustangs lead by 10. Just a little under five minutes here. Mustangs getting pressured now by the Grizzlies. Don't do a good job of handling that pressure as Mustangs turn the ball over and Schneider commits the foul on number 15. Amanda Carey as she tries to lay the ball up and in. Schneider's third foul, Mustangs fourth here. A long way to go as we've got a couple Mustangs in foul trouble. Got to do a better job of controlling the ball and eliminating the foul. Number 15 to the line for the Grizzlies. Let's get this up and good. And that's the second part of Coach Krakemeyer's keys to success from the other, from three games, is that we can't let others heat up, and that's kind of what's happening to these Northwoods. Grizzlies as they are starting to heat up around Kalen Smith. Yeah, a couple quick whistles, not necessarily going the Mustangs' way. Mustangs have to do a better job of recovering and handling this pressure. Apple into the game, going to inbound it off the make of that second free throw attempt. Gets the ball to Bills. Bills sends it far left side to Schneider. Schneider for three. Good. Schneider wide open, far left side. Three point shot is good. Extending the Mustangs' lead, 32 to 21. As the Mustangs are slow to get back on defense, then we got a whistle blown and a foul on number 30 Bills of the Mustangs is going to send number 5, Lexi Girk, for the Grizzlies to the line where she'll shoot two. First free throw attempt is up and no good. Visit Edwards Right Price Market in Flowerland, located at 1201 East Flat Avenue in Fort Morgan. Stop by and get what you need to refuel on game days. Mustangs having to do a little bit better job of controlling the basketball here. Second free throw attempt is up, no good. Rattles around and is rebounded by the Mustangs. Danielle Gross. Danielle quickly gives the ball off to Schneider. Schneider running into some pressure from Smith as she works across half court. Schneider decides she's going to run the length of the floor where she goes up and is fouled by Kaylin Smith. Schneider will go to the line and shoot two. As that foul on Kaylin Smith, her second. Schneider here, five points in the third quarter. Her first free throw attempt is up 
And no good. T.O. Charlie's. See T.O. Charlie's for a great used car truck for today. If you don't see what you want on the lot, they'll find it for you at 700 West Plant Avenue in Fort Morgan. Second shot by Snyder's good. Sending the Mustangs lead, 33-21. Four minutes to go here, third quarter. Kalen Smith for the Grizzlies brings it across half court. Center left side, defended by Daniel Gross of the Mustangs. Ashley Apple steps in as Grizzlies try baseline. Shots up, no good. Mustangs and Grizzlies both hit the deck. Apple slow to get up, but does. Kalen Smith, three. As Winchimer's a little too late getting the hand in the face. Makes a shifty inbounds the ball to Schneider. As we've got another quick whistle, and we're going to have a double foul here on the Mustangs, Gross, and the Grizzlies, five. They were wrestling around as Gross was trying to get free. Official didn't like what he saw, and he's going to give them both a foul. I've never seen that before, Josh. It's not common, but it does happen. Fortunately, the Mustangs shot themselves in the foot a little bit here as we now have 17 fouls. It's a long way to go. And have put the Grizzlies into the bonus situation. Chucky's struggling to get the ball inbounded. Uh, the whistle's blown on the five-second violation as Macy's unable to get the ball inbounded with the pressure the Grizzlies here are applying for set, or, uh, with the full-court press. Mustangs turnover gives the ball back to the Grizzlies. Grizzlies quick to inbound it. Schneider late to get her hand up and shots up. Shots up, no good. Rebounded by Apple. Apple sends it to Schneider. Schneider looks to put some pressure. Steps back on the three-point line and puts it up and in. It was a smart move by Allie Schneider to realize she was open to step back and hit that open shot. Schneider really turning on the heat here. Second half. Ball's on the floor. Shooky and Kalen Smith go for it. We're going to have a jump ball. Session arrow's going to keep the ball here on the Grizzlies end of the floor. Number 12 coming in, Sammy Pettyjohn for number 10, Brittany Winsheimer for the Mustangs. Mustangs lead 36-24, 3.18 to go in this third quarter. Grizzlies have the ball there into the floor. Mustangs try to defend. Shooky late to get out on the inbound play at number 23. Michaela Mackey for the Grizzlies strains the three-point shot attempt. Mustangs unable to handle this full-court pressure they're starting to see now from the Grizzlies. And they committed yet again another turnover. Shots quickly taken by Kalen Smith for three points is no good. Ball rattles around on the floor and is recovered by Schneider. Schneider sends it up to Gross. Gross the length of the floor to Apple. Apple takes the dribble, lays it off the glass and hits. Ashley Apple for two points. Good job to avoid the Grizzlies defender. She has the wide open look. And lays it in up off the glass for two points, extending the Mustang please. 38 27. 230 here, third quarter. Ball taken away by Schneider. Takes the jump shot from the free throw line. Off the rim, no good. Mustang didn't necessarily have the numbers. Schneider thought she had the shot, but was un- unable to convert. Ball's rebounded by the Grizzlies. As they head back their length or head back to their end of the court, sorry. Kalen Smith has the ball above the three point line, sends it right side. Brought back up top by Shelby Clark. Back to Kalen Smith for three points and it's good. Most things are gonna have to start going out on those. They may open up on something down low, but they're gonna have to do something because you cannot let Kalen Smith get hot and late in the game. Apple has the ball for the Mustangs, low block, sends it out to Shookie. Shookie tries to get it back into Apple but can't, struggling to hold on to it. As Coach Krakenmeyer decides to take a timeout and regroup. Mustangs not really handling this pressure. As Coach Krakenmeyer decided he's going to take a timeout and, and regroup. Braden, you had the chance to talk to Mustangs Alexis Bills before the game. If you would, uh, highlight some of the things you guys were able to discuss. And she is our Mustangs player of the week. Alexis Bills is a 5'9 junior. She started playing basketball in the 7th grade. Um, her her goals for this year is she wants to improve every time she steps out on the court, which is a good trait in a basketball player as they always continue to get better. And her goal as she moves on is next year will be her senior year. She wants to play basketball in college. She doesn't care where it's at, if it's a little school or big school. She just loves the sport. And she wants to throw out that she can Dougie as good as anybody in Fort Morgan High School. <laughs> so Alexis Bills knows, has a great sense of humor and is a good athlete and a good student. 
Well, best of luck to her. She heads towards college in her future endeavors, and uh, good luck as she's here in the moment tonight as the Mustangs try to hold on to this lead. 148 to go. Third quarter, Mustangs lead 38-30. to 30. It's about time for that timeout as Coach Krakenmeyer did the right thing, called that timeout, allowing the Mustangs to regroup. Coming out of the huddle, we've got Schneider, Apple, Gross, Lap, and Petty John on the floor for the Mustangs. Deep three-point by Gross. is up and good. Up the inbound play. Not sure she even thought about it. She just caught the ball off the inbounds, threw it up, and uh, good enough, accurate enough, extends Mustangs lead. 41-30. 1.30 to go. Third quarter. Mustangs switch to get back on defense. Come out of that timeout with some energy as they take the ball away from the Grizzlies. Schneider gives it to... Petty John who brings it across half court, tries to hold on to it and can't. And as Lapp gets her hand up and trying to recover that loose basketball, can't hang on to it. Uh, unfortunately, going to give possession back to the Grizzlies. Good adjustments made out of that timeout as the Mustangs get the quick three and now uh, a turnover. Giving the ball back to the Grizzlies. Mustangs lead 41 to 30. One minute to go here, third quarter. Ball up top to Kalen Smith, deep three, no good. Rattles around. Mustangs unable to grab it as Kaylin Smith gets her own rebound. Drives the lane, throws it back up. No good. Ball rattles around. Mustangs can't get a handle on it. Sending it to the low block. And number 41, Eric Gilbert for the Grizzlies. Turns around, puts it off the glass, and in. Snyder quick to get the ball and breaks his press. Dribbles around her back. Tries to again as she looks to make the pass. A little bit rough as she commits the turnover. Grizzlies try to use the numbers they have to do if they convert that layup. Closing this gap here, 41-34. Off the Mustang turnover. If the pace just seems to pick up again, as we saw kind of a, a low first part of this third quarter, and now it's the pace is back up again. Pace has increased coming off that Mustang's timeout on both sides of the floor. We had a foul called on number 15 of the Grizzlies, Amanda Carey, her third sub comes in for her as uh, Mustangs will have the basketball in front of the Grizzlies bench, three quarters of the court to cover. They are encountering full court pressure by the Grizzlies. Lap does a good job to get the ball inbound into the streaking Mustang, Petty John. Petty John sends it top of the key to Gross. Gross 10 feet above three point line, sends it left side to Lap. Lap sends it back up top, key to Apple, Apple and low to Bills, Bills jump shot from 10, off the glass, and then Alexis Bills, two points there off the good look, using the glass, taking the high percentage shot, and converting. Time to expire here, the Grizzlies unable to get the shot off, as Ashley Apple got the hand on the basketball, preventing that shot by the Grizzlies, as time expires here, third quarter. We're going to take a quick break. As we head towards the fourth quarter, Mustangs lead the Grizzlies, 43-34. You're listening to Fort Morgan Girls Basketball on B106, B106.com. Mustangs come out of the huddle here as we prepare to start th uh, fourth quarter. Macy Shooky, Devin Lapp, Sammy Pettyjohn, Alexis Bills, and Danielle Gross start this quarter for the Mustangs. Schneider gets a breather. She had a, a really solid third quarter. Mustangs lead 43-34. Lap has the ball up top, sends the left side to Shooky. Shooky tries to get it in low and commits the turnover. As number 23 for the Grizzlies runs the length of the floor and gets called for the carryover before she gets her shot off. Shooky's got to do a little bit better job here looking to Inbound the basketball and get the basketball in low. She's committed quite a few turnovers here in the second half with some forced passes. I think half the buckle down right now and play smart as we are in the seven and a half minute mark of the game. Shift gives the ball to Lap. Lap up top to Petty John. No shot clock here in high school basketball, so if Morgan Mustangs can control possession here and let some time run off the clock. That would give them the opportunity here to hold on to this lead. All it looks to be sent left side to Lap. Lap loses it temporarily, but holds on to it. Sends it up top to Gross. Gross far side to number 12, Petty John. Petty John looking in low for Shooky. Options not there. Now looks to Lap. Lap well defended as well. Sends it up top to Bills. Bills takes the drive. Sends it, the shot up. It's tipped. No good. Rebounded by the Grizzly Smith. 
quick to come down the floor. She looks to send across court and does. Down and low to number 23. Now back up top of the key. Number 15 for the Grizzlies. Amanda Carey. Carey sends it left side. They look in low to Smith. Give the ball to Smith. Smith back out to number 23 for the three-point shot. Up no good. Rebounded by Alexis Bill. She did a good job to set her feet and establish position there on the rebound. And she gets the ball, brings it across half court, and now gives it to Daniel Gross. Daniel Gross tries to send it far left side to Smith. He should be unable to get to it as the ball squirts away for the Mustang turnover. Shookie's going to head to the bench with Daniel Gross as number 10 Winsheimer. And number 22, Wiederspan, come back into the game. Wiederspan has four fouls. Schneider with three is on the bench. Petty John with three as well. We've got to eliminate, uh, with a lot of time left here, fourth quarter, the possibility of anybody fouling out. Most definitely, the Mustangs are looking to play smart, efficient basketball. There's the have the basketball there, half of the court up top. Kayla Smith, six minutes to go in this ball game, fourth quarter. Mustangs lead and have led all night, 43-34. Ball in left side, well defended by Bills. Kick back out, top right to Smith. Smith runs into Winsheimer and decides she's going to send it left side. Shots up, no good. Rebounded by the Mustangs. Number 12, Sammy Petty John brings it across half court. Wide open, Wiederspan left side, takes the ball. Uses the pick from Bills. Decides to give it off to Bills on the on the pick and roll. Now back up top to Wiederspan. Wiederspan right side to Winchimer. Winchimer to lap down low. Tries to run the baseline. But is forced out and steps out of bounds. One thing need to be content with just passing the basketball around the top, waiting for their game. They don't need to force anything. They're up 43-34. There's no need for the Mustangs to feel panicked right now. They have the lead. Play smart basketball. They're going to be fine. Quick timeout here by the Grizzlies before they're going to inbound this basketball. Coach Anderson for the Grizzlies wants to talk about what her team's doing here as they continue to trail. They've trailed all night. Mustangs did a great job early in the first half to take the lead and extend that lead. Uh, it's slowing a little bit late. But the Mustangs uh, still lead 43-34. Have done a good job in this uh, late third quarter, early fourth quarter to control their fouls as they got into some early foul trouble third quarter. 17 fouls on the Mustangs. Grizzlies in the one-on-one -one bonus situation. Team fouls for the Grizzlies are at five. Coming out of this timeout, the Grizzlies, Kalen Smith inbounds the basketball to Amanda Carey, who brings it across half court and runs into the Mustang Schneider. Sends the ball right side where we've got a double dribble, and that'll get the ball on that turnover back to the Mustangs. Seven laps for the Mustangs. We've got Lap, Schneider, Bills, Wiederspan, and Winsheimer on the floor for the Mustangs here. Five minutes, 13 seconds to go, fourth quarter. Ball inbounded. Quickly given back to Bills. Bills brings it across half court. Sends it right side to the wide open. Wiederspan. Wiederspan didn't realize she was as open as she was. Missed the opportunity at the shot. Tries to get the ball in low to the Schneider, but has the ball taken away. Smith runs the length of the floor. Sends in low to the low blocks to number 23, where she goes up and is fouled. And if this goes the way I think it is, this will be the end of the night for number 22, Wiederspan. The foul is on Mustangs Brooks Wiederspan, her fifth. Well played game by her tonight. Just a little over aggressive here in the second half as she committed three fouls here uh, to end her night. Most definitely have to be a little bit disappointed, but then again on the upside, playing good defense, playing with a lot of heart, moving around, and generally that's that's a help side foul that she's getting called on. As a coach, you have to just appreciate the effort and everything that she put in tonight. Sends Michaela Mack to the line to shoot two. Her first shot attempt is up and good. As a coach, all you can do is ask your players to be aggressive and push the pace of the game. Mustangs, as a team, have done that all, all night. As uh, the Mustangs look to pick up their teammate, uh, Wiederspan, as she's fouling out. Second shot is no good. Rebounded by the Grizzlies. Put back up. Long three, no good. Rebounded by the Mustangs. Mustangs look to push the issue down the floor. Number 12 for the Mustangs. Petty John runs into the Grizzlies, number five, where the foul will be called, and Mustangs will have the ball about half court in front of the scorer's table. 
437 to go here, fourth quarter. Mustangs lead 43-35. That's that foul was on number 15, Amanda Carey. Ball's inbounded. Taken by Petty John. Petty John above three-point line, runs into some pressure. She picks up her true dribble. Gets rid of it to Apple. Apple looking for help as well. Gives it uh, to Winshammer. Winshammer sends it low side to Bills. Bills in low to the streak of Snyder. Snyder up for the shot. No good. Had a good look. As her shot went up at the underneath side of the basket, came quickly straight back down and was covered by the Grizzlies. Grizzlies quickly get down the floor. Shot attempt up. No good. Bounces around. Mustang number 10, Winshammer. The Grizzlies number 15, Carey hit the floor. Officials say it last touch the Grizzlies and will be Mustangs' ball. Mustangs have the length of the court to go. As the Grizzlies set up their full court pressure, official gives the ball to Bills. Bills looks to inbounded Schneider. Schneider opportunity closes as she inbounds it quickly to Petty John. Petty John then gives it to Schneider. Schneider quickly to Apple. Apple shot up and for baseline. It's no good, but they're going to call a foul on the Grizzlies, which will send the Mustangs to Ashley Apple to the line where she'll shoot too. Good job by the Mustangs to get that ball inbounded and quickly down the floor. Apple taking the high percentage shot where she's fouled and goes to the line. Her first shot attempt is up and no good. Ackley Building Center, your one-stop center for projects around your home, office, or yard. Ackley Building Center, located at 1402 Mill Street in Brush. Apple unofficially tonight, eight points, two for three from the line up to this point. As she sets her feet for the second attempt, about three feet. Now sets up right behind the free throw line. Second shot rolls in and out, no good. Rebounded by the Grizzlies, but quickly Snyder jumps on the ball as well, and we're going to have a jump ball. Session arrow gives it to the Grizzlies. Snyder did a great job to jump on that rebound as well as both teams had a handle on it, but the possession arrow will get the ball to the Grizzlies. Mustang set up their full court pressure. Apple on the defender. Ball inbounded quickly to Smith. Smith runs into the Mustangs. Winshimer who trails her down the floor. Winshimer doing a good job. Tracking Smith forces her left side where she gives the ball up to number five, Gert. Gert back up top. Sent left side to Smith. Smith shot up. No good. Rebound shot attempt is blocked by Schneider and recovered by the Mustangs. Teddy John gives the ball to Schneider. Schneider looks to drive and does. Dishes it to number 10. Weeder, Winsheimer, sorry. Winsheimer's shot goes in and out. Bounces around. Schneider gets the ball and goes up and is fouled and will shoot two. Mustangs doing a good job to run the floor and get the shot opportunities. That shot by Winsheimer was in and out. Thought it was good. So did the crowd and the hometown fans that have followed us here to Northridge. But Schneider's good to jump on the ball and uh, gets fouled where she'll go to the line and shoot two. That was a good, smart, aggressive play by the Mustangs to realize they had an opportunity to get another couple quick buckets. Mustangs lead 43-35. Three minutes, eight seconds here to go in this ball game. The Mustangs, Schneider's to the line, shooting two. A foul call on number 41, Sarah Gilbert. Her fifth foul is she's fouled out of this ball game. Schneider's first shot rattles around and out. No good. As she sets to recover and shoot her second. Mustangs coach Krakenmeyer shouting some words of encouragement and advice as the Mustangs prepare. Schneider's second shot is good. Ball quickly brought across half court by the Grizzlies. Grizzlies looking to convert quickly as time is running out in this ball game as they have trailed. Three point shot is up by Smith, no good. Long rebound, no one has it, then is rebounded now by the Grizzlies. Set right side to number 23. Third three point shot attempt up, no good. Now to Smith. Smith's three point shot is good. And a quick timeout called by the Grizzlies off that three point make by Kalen Smith. Mustangs unable to grab the rebound as the ball rattled around off two or three misses there. And Kalen Smith finally able to convert. We're going to take a quick break here as we head towards the finish of this ball game. Mustangs lead 
44-38 with two minutes, 41 seconds to go. You're listening to B106, B106.com. Back here at Northridge High School, Josh Miller alongside Braden Schneider bringing you Fort Morgan High School girls basketball. Mustangs lead 44-38, two minutes, 41 seconds to go in this contest, fourth quarter. Northridge off the three-point make of Smith called the timeout as Coach Anderson for the Grizzlies wants to talk about what they're going to have to do to close this gap here. Coach Krakenmeyer in the huddle keeping his girls motivated and up here to close out this ball game. Mustangs have Apple, Winsheimer, Schneider, Teddy John, and Bills on the floor. Ball quickly inbounded by Bills to Schneider. Schneider back to Bills. Bills to Schneider as she gets the opportunity to come across half full court and does. Sends it far right side to the wide open Petty John. Petty John to Bills for the 10-foot jumper off the front of the rim. No good. Rebounded by the Grizzlies as they head back their way and they're into the court. Smith looks and does send it left side baseline. As number five for the Grizzlies. Skirt drives the basket, lays it up and in. Falls inbound to Schneider. Schneider works to try to get above half or across half court and does. And she gives the ball right side to Winsheimer. We've got a foul on the Grizzlies, number five, which will send Winsheimer to the line to shoot two. Mustangs pushing the pace. Personally, I'd like to see them slow it down a little bit, but uh, trying to extend their lead as this game Come pretty close here with two minutes to go, Brady. A little close for comfort for me is the Mustangs kind of pushing the issue a little bit when I agree with you. I think just slow it down and make Northridge work because you can control the ball for two minutes with the no shot clock, as you mentioned earlier in high school basketball. Lap into the game for Apple. When Shimer sets her feet for her first free throw attempt, and it's up and good. Central Auto Parts, for all your auto parts supply needs, stop by Central Auto Parts at West Platte Avenue in Fort Morgan. Winsheimer sets her feet for her second attempt, and it is awesome. Sending the Mustangs lead to six. After those two makes, she'll go to the bench, gets a high five, and goes to Krakenmeyer. Coming in for her is Daniel Gross. Mustangs put on that full court pressure. Gross doing, has done a good job all night of defending Smith as she trails her down the floor. Forces her far right side where Smith hands it off to Clark. Clark up top to Carey. Carey tries to get back to Smith. Ball's deflected. Now he's got Mustang chasing the basketball and Schneider a little too over aggressive. It's going to be called for a foul. Schneider's got to be careful here as that's her fourth foul with a minute 45 here to go in this ball game. We need to see Schneider on the floor for the remainder of that. I apologize, Miss misspoke. Three fouls on Schneider. And I'm not sure, Josh, if we have that wrong or if the scores table has it wrong, because I have it as four. That was her fourth as well. Well, we won't complain. If they've got her with three, that's all that counts. But that will send the Grizzlies to the line with the one-on-one -on -one bonus situation. And that first shot up is good by Carey. Premier Farm Credit committed to serving those in production ag. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. Second free throw attempt by the Grizzlies. Carry is up and is good. Both free throw attempts there are made. Closing this gap to four. Mustangs lead 46-42, 1.45 to go. Gross has the ball. And in the process of trying to get it to last, it's called for a travel. As she definitely did stop her dribble and spun around, and uh, referees throw the whistle and an unfortunate turnover here with a minute 42 to go. As the ball now goes back to the Grizzlies. Grizzlies inbound the ball. And Smith hits the floor off what looks to be, they're going to call a foul on the Mustang, Sammy Pettyjohn. Sammy Pettyjohn did her best to get through that screen. And they're going to call the foul on the Mustang, Pettyjohn, which will send Smith to the line. That's something the Mustangs did all night was break through screens like that. The only problem is Sammy Pettyjohn had a running start this time and saw the screen coming and I think just cleared her way right through there. Smith a little shake in this. She gets off the floor but able to make her first free throw. Morgan 
Morgan Federal Bank, your one-stop shop for all of your banking and investment needs, from checking to savings to IRAs, 321 Ensign Street. Morgan Federal Bank, there's a difference. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Second free throw attempt, no good. Rattles around. Mustangs try to hold on to it and do. Mustangs lap, rebounds the ball, gives it to Snyder. Snyder dribbles the ball around the back, but she's fouled by number five. Lexi Gert, that'll send Snyder to the line. And that is the fifth foul on number five for the Grizzlies. Lexi Gert, second Grizzly to foul out here tonight. The Mustangs, Weeder Span has fouled out as well. A lot of fouls in this second half. Both teams with ten personal fouls. That will send Schneider to the line to shoot two. 46-43, Mustangs lead. Minute 30 to go here in this ball game. Critical that Schneider's able to convert these points. And extend the Mustang lead. First shot attempt is up and good. Bob Valley Hearing Center, 14 Main Street in Fort Morgan, getting your hearing to its very best. Schneider sets up for her second, and it is good. Coach Trackemeyer wants to take 30 second timeout to talk about it. After those two makes by Schneider, extending the Mustang's lead, 48-43. One minute, 30 seconds to go here in this contest. Mustangs and Grizzlies both in foul trouble. Both teams in a double bonus situation. Ten foul, team fouls on both sides of the floor. Coach Krakenmeyer letting his girls know what he needs done here with a minute 30 left to go in this ball game if they were to hold on to this lead. Right when they got into the timeout, Josh, I was watching, watching Coach Krakenmeyer and how his hand signals were, he was motioning, slow down. Slow down. It's a minute 30. We're up by five. No need to push the issue. Just sit back, hang on to the ball, and play keep away. The girls definitely have an energy to them on the floor. They are excited, and they are working hard. Just understand that, as Coach Crack Meyer has suggested in that timeout, they need to slow the pace of this game when the ball's in our control. Mustangs let the Grizzlies bring it across half court, where then uh, they set up man-to-man -man defense. Bills has guard left side, forces the pass up top to Smith. Smith runs into Winsheimer. Winsheimer doing a good job to move her feet and forcing Smith to the left side. Smith gives it up to the top of the key. Grizzlies looking for options. Not many at this point. The gap closes as the Mustangs are going to have the whistle called, and that's going to be Petty John Smith, I believe. Eddie John and Snyder doing a good job to close that lane on Smith. Smith threw up a prayer. But uh, the whistle blown on Petty John, and they're going to call her with the block, and that's going to be her fifth foul. That just goes to show that Kaylin Smith is a smart athlete. She knew that was going to happen. The double team was coming on its way, and she just threw up a prayer, and she got the foul call. And that's a smart play. If you're down by five, you need to get to the free throw line. Yeah, Petty John frustrated, but she's played hard all night, contributed on the defensive end of the floor between Petty John Gross and Winsheimer. The three of those ladies have done an excellent job all night to defend Smith. Unfortunately, she's fouled out, but the first shot attempt by Smith off of that foul is good. Closing this gap here to four. Second shot up is also good, making it a three-point game. Flap quick inbounds the ball to Snyder. Snyder tries to get down the floor, but she's going to be fouled by Smith, and that's going to send her to the line. Both teams in this double bonus situation. It could be a long minute as this game comes to a close. Mustangs needing all the points they can get as Snyder heads to the line here to shoot two. That foul on number 21, Kaylin Smith, her third. This is the best way for the Mustangs to get a lead is they don't have to push anything. They don't have to work at anything. It's all free basket. Snyder unable to convert the first. 48-45 here. Northern Colorado Title. For all of your title needs, visit Tim Weimer at Northern Colorado Title at 205 West Kiowa in Fort Morgan. One minute to go in this ball game. Snyder misses her first. That's for her second and is up and good. This is the Mustangs, the four-point lead. 49-45 to go in this ball game. Grizzlies quick to push the issue down the floor. Throws it up. Off the rim, no good. Snyder gets the ball. Needs to do a good job here in holding on to it as she sends the ball to number 30, Bills, to his foul. Bills will go to the line in the double bonus situation where she will shoot two. That foul on 
the Grizzlies number 15, her fourth. Sending the Mustangs. Alexis Bills to the line to shoot two. First off the front of the rim, no good. Mustangs doing an excellent job here late. That's just kind of slowing down. They're not forcing anything. They're letting the Grizzlies sit back and foul them. Bill's second attempt again off the front of the rim. No good. Bounces around. Last week with the handle on it as the Grizzlies come up with it. Mustangs quick to get back on defense. And Smith has the ball and tries to push the issue. Thinks about shooting a three and then just it off to the left side to number 15. The shot is up and good. Two-point basket. Two-point basket is going to leave the Mustangs with a one-point lead. 36 seconds left in this ball game. 49 to 47. Mustangs lead. They had uh, errantly given that uh, shot three points, so they're going to take one off the board. Mustangs lead 49 47. 36 seconds to go in this ball game. 30 second quick timeout brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loans, Northeast Colorado's hometown savings and loans in Fort Morgan and Brush. Insurance connection, whether it's health, life, or dental insurance or Medicare supplements, see Sharon Kaufman at Insurance Connection in Fort Morgan. Mustangs with the ball must do a good job of maintaining possession on the inbounds and avoiding the pressure from the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies will likely foul and send some someone from the Mustangs squad to that free throw line. Most definitely, and you would think they would try to avoid fouling Ali Snyder or Alexis Bills. If those are two of Morgan's top-notch shooters from the line. The Grizzlies have their work cut out for them. Is I, there's no one on this Mustang defense or Mustang team that has not played their heart out tonight and has not given their best effort. No, it's been a complete team effort from the start. Contributors uh, on all ends for the Mustangs. Points coming from all over. Um, defense has been outstanding, to say the least. The inbound by... Last goes to Bills. Bills is not able to handle the basketball as it trickles out of bounds. And the one thing the Mustangs did not want to see was that turnover. That will give the ball back to the Grizzlies. 35 seconds to go. Mustangs have the two-point lead, 49-47. Grizzlies have the ball in front of their bench. Ball is inbounded quickly. Grizzlies look for the shot from the right elbow. It's not there. Kick it out right side. Try to get the ball to their best player, Smith, and do up top. Smith sets the offense and is forced left side by Winsheimer. Winsheimer forces her to give up the basketball. Ball's brought back up top where Smith regains possession of it. Winsheimer doing a great job defensively. The ball's almost turned over. And thought the Mustangs had it, but uh, Grizzlies were able to regain possession there as the Grizzlies coach Anderson calls a quick 30-second timeout. Nine seconds in the ball game. Mustangs lead by two, 49-47. After that ball squirted and rattled away there uh, from the Mustangs, uh, that would have been the, the prime opportunity to close out this ball game. But they're going to have to play some defense here these last nine seconds. Most definitely. And you know who the Grizzlies are going to try and give their ball to their leading scorer, Kaylin Smith. As she leads the team in all of Max Prep's categories. You have to try and shut down that wall in three because you know she'll try and take it. She likes the right side about three feet back from what I'm watching her. She's almost on, I've seen her take one as deep as almost on that out-of-bounds line on the far side of the court from us. So you know the Mustangs, you have to try and deny that if she's going to inbound this ball. You have to wonder who it's going to go to, and you know she's going to get the ball back. This is a Tri-Valley League contest. Mustangs looking for their first Tri-Valley League win. The Grizzlies are one and one. Ball's inbounded to Schmidt. Four seconds on the clock. Shot is up. No good. Rebound about last. Last hit the ball. Mustangs win. 49-47 is the final score. An exciting finish to an exciting ball game and a team win for these four Morgan Mustangs who uh, are very excited and right for the show. We will take a quick break, come back and talk to uh, one of the Mustangs players and coaches and get their feedback on tonight's Tri-Valley League win. We're going to Mustang basketball and they finish with a 49-47 win on B106, B106.com. Back here at Fort Morgan Basketball as the Lady, uh, Lady Mustangs come out of here with the Tri-Valley League win. Apologize for a little bit of technical difficulty. We tried to get an interview there at the end of the game. We're unable to. 
Mustangs win 49-47 on a dramatic finish as they get their first try out of the contest win tonight. Great, any thoughts here as uh, we wrap up the girls and, and head towards uh, the guys' game here? It's just an outstanding effort by the Fort Morgan girls tonight. Can't say enough on how much, as I did talk, is we had technical difficulties and I didn't have a headset on to know what was going on. Um, I talked to with Alexis Bill about what was going, what was different about tonight. She said in practice we've been talking about playing as a team not getting upset with each other and coming together to get a win, and that's how teams win, and that's, she said that's exactly what, did, what we did tonight. And I think she summed it up right there. They played as a team, Josh, and when you play as a team, you win as a team, and I think they're going to take that into the gym as they have Friday against Sterling. And I look, this is a huge momentum builder for the Mustangs. If they, play, they play Frederick in the new year, Charleston Valley, and Brush, and they led um, in Brush through part of the game and into the second half. And tonight, they never died. They kept going. They never gave up. And it's just an outstanding effort by the Fort Morgan girls tonight. Can't say enough about them. Yeah, no, an incredible team effort. Uh, points coming from all over uh, the roster. Girls coming in off the bench and contributing. Defensively, the number one thing that needed to be done was controlling uh, Kaylin Smith, the Grizzlies' leading scorer. Uh, they, they did just that. She, she still scored about her 20 points. Um, most of those coming from the foul line, which was a little bit of Coach Krakenmeyer's concern in, in the discussions we had with him. But nonetheless, a great team effort on the defensive end of the floor. The, the ladies played their hearts out. Uh, we had a couple girls foul out, but uh, overall a tremendous team effort. Uh, a great win for them. Uh, I know they're going to have uh, a pretty excited bus ride as, as they head home here later tonight after this guys game. Um, Unofficially, we had uh, Schneider wrapping up uh, with 16 points, uh, Gross with five, Petty John with four, Wiederspan with two, Alexis Bills with seven, Devin Lapp with four, and Ashley Apple with eight. Uh, Wiederspan did, and Petty John did end up fouling out uh, for the Mustangs, but nonetheless, the team effort, as they all contributed uh, to this win here tonight, uh, excited for those girls and uh, a good effort uh for the team, and they'll go home happy. Right. Most definitely, and as you hit on it earlier, uh, Kaylin, Kaylin Smith making it to the free throw line is a concern, and Coach Krakenmeyer's other concern was the other Grizzlies getting hot, and that's something the Mustangs shut them down, and that's another key that they got tonight. That that's why they won. I mean, they shut down everybody else and controlled Kaylin Smith to a point, and that's what they did to win. They shut down their leading offender, and they come out with a win. As we finish up here, uh, the guys are getting ready. We'll be back uh, to talk a little bit about that matchup here tonight uh, as the Fort Morgan boys get ready to take on the Northridge Grizzlies. It was an exciting one. Mustang girls basketball wins, 49-47 on the road, getting their first Tri-Valley League win. You're listening to Mustangs Basketball, B106, B106.com. 